Hello, and welcome back to SideQuest, everyone. I would like to begin this episode, if I may, by doing something possibly foolish. This is called, I believe, power stancing. It is something that many of you have been bringing up to me throughout the full length of this playthrough. 50, 60, however many episodes we're in by this point, I don't know. The point is, you can dual-wield weapons of the same category, and they get an entirely different moveset. So, like, they're kind of the normal may swing, but I can also swing both and do, like, a power-hit combo thing, and it's very cool. But it also eats through stamina, and I have no shield, and it's a bad idea, but we're gonna test this on <laughs> a newish, very dangerous monster. It's fine. See? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. All going according to plan. Come on. Hitch in the legs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> anyway, how are you folks doing? Ah! Whoa. That seems like it shouldn't have happened. Watch it. No stomps. Ha ha! I actually won. It's amazing. My voice is much better now, you may have noticed. New recording session. I don't know if I'm gonna record very long today. I don't know if I have a lot of time to, but... Voice is better. Still a little lower or kind of cracklier than usual. It's been this way all month because of first packs that involves talking for days on end. Uh, should top off here. Hang on. Let me just destroy this thing handily. Like, it's nothing. This is actually kind of working, this <laughs> power stancing thing. But yeah, other than PAX, then I got sick for like a... week, when I hadn't... Like, when I was still not all the way recovered from the PAX voice exhaustion. And then I went and maybe recorded that ill-advised eight-episode stretch of side quest all at once, and, uh, kinda exhausted my voice completely. Oh dear. And now it's kind of on the mend, so... Not gonna record as long this time. Gonna, gonna learn my lesson. Ow. Come on, I thought I rolled through that. Ah, well. Still dead. This is going pretty well with these guys. I don't know how well this tactic would do against enemies that I would actually try to be blocking against. But as is, it's kind of fun. Probably be even better if this, uh standard mace I have in my left hand was, um, like, higher than plus eight. But I had it up to plus ten, but... I don't know, I'm kind of just dabbling, so... Don't feel the need to waste too many Titanite chunks on something I'm just kind of tinkering with. Although, if I keep enjoying this this much, who knows? Anyway... Where are we, and where are we going? I see a little glint of light in the reflection there, which probably means, given the way this game's rendering works, that there's an item way up there. <laughs> that's shining all the way down here. Or I could be wrong, but that's my guess. Let's top off here. I'm guessing we're going into this, which is really cool looking. Projectile? What do I need a projectile for? Oh. Wait a minute. What have we here? Dragonstone. Do I... Do I have a dragonstone? Oh. Yeah, I guess I picked that up. I didn't read item descriptions last time because my voice was so tired, so I've probably picked up some actually lore-significant 
items in my time here. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Ah, this area is just so cool looking all the time. I love it. Still haven't figured out exactly where we are, like the lore significance of this place. Haven't figured that out yet. Like, is this tied to a king or kingdom that I've, uh, heard of before? Or is this something new? Furthermore, what's this do? Yes, an elevator. I bet this takes me back up. Um, oh, hang on, let me poke around here first. Hmm. There's a cool gem thing. I'm gonna try attacking it. Nothing. I don't know if I believe you folks. It's very cool looking though. The other area I remember having glowing crystals and such was the uh, Seldora region with the spiders. And I guess Seath's crystal caves area, but... Ooh, nice. What is that gem? Crystal, I guess, rather. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Had to try. Let's try out this here elevator. Is it gonna take me up to a place that I was before up top? Only now I can, uh, now I can get inside the big... What's this kind of building called? Like, Acropolis or something? Oh, I bet this one takes me back up to where I was. Originally. But it's a shortcut I've opened up. Look at that. Is that not awesome? So cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got human effigy. Let me check this elevator first. Just to see where we end up. Because I'm thinking it's going to be up top. Because there was an elevator like this early on in the zone that was inactive. So I'm guessing this is our shortcut back to the beginning. If we need it. Think so. Ah, yeah, here we are. I think. Pretty sure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Original bonfire back here. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Well, now we have entrance. So let's see what awaits inside. But yeah, was this just another kingdom in Drang Lake's history that's just kind of forgotten to time? Or is this tied to one of the kingdoms we've already kind of, uh, trodden through in the main, like, base game? Shulva, as a name, isn't one that I recognize. Uh, okay. What awaits? Now the real fight begins. I don't know, it's kind of hard getting in. Comment. Dragon's Sanctum. And a bonfire ahead, it says. I don't see it, though. I hadn't really, um... noticed, uh... This doesn't seem safe. Hmm. I hadn't really taken notice of it originally, but... The dragon that we saw when we first entered this whole, uh, DLC area... It was white in tone, right? Like, in skin color? I don't know if that's a, uh... It's probably coincidence, but... We... 
have seen albino dragons of a kind before. Probably unrelated, but still. Uh, meant to be a jump. That's okay. Uh, do, 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 do. What's in here? Wow, that is a drop. All right, we're going to be uh, maybe putting that silver cat ring on. Why do we still have poison bite ring on? That's not helpful. Uh, let's see. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Silver cat ring. And drop. I haven't seen any enemies in a while. Oh. <laughs> but I do see a lot of death, like, blood stains down there, so... Oh, and there's a uh, fog door. Probably our destination. So, we jump. And... Where's the enemy? Ah! Whoa, hey! You look cool. Makes me wish I had a shield, though. Because this is, um... Not working for me. That armor looks familiar. Where have I seen that armor before? Alright, that's enough of my, uh... Power stancing foolishness for now. This is not an area to be experimenting with new techniques. Really should have been trying that from earlier on, but... That's alright. Might be something I dabble in... In a later playthrough more. Or maybe just another area where I'm fighting lots of things. Uh, and don't intend to block much. Seems like something you could probably do a lot uh, of with, like, dex builds and smaller, lighter weapons. I don't know. I wonder who that knight was, though. Or rather, like, where that knight's from. Where that armor's from. That kind of thing. And we jump. Grab our thing. Watch it. That shield is familiar. That... That's not like the default... Original, like... It looks Demon Soulsy, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's what it's reminding me of. Where is that armor from? Hey, stop it. Or is that like... Maybe kind of looks like Oscar of Astora a little bit. Hmm, I was kind of hoping he'd drop something so I could uh, get an item description, but... Perhaps I'll see a clue about his identity later. Wait a minute. Why are these empty? And who the heck are you? Let's see if I can get this guy to come down for a chat. Oh, I see you up there, pal. Oof, spooky. Actually, you know, this gives me occasion to uh, attempt another thing that was interesting me. Poison arrows. I feel like those are probably really effective. How do you switch between arrow types? Can you? What's the button to do this? Now there's got to be some way to switch arrow types. That's not the button. <laughs> um, well, anyway. These are not poison arrows. He looks really cool. I guess I would need him to come down here, right? Yeah. Well, I'll figure out the button for switching arrow ammunition in a little bit. Come on, let's just have a proper fight.
These are not super convenient doors. You guys should tell whoever designed this place. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight squeeze for a fight, but alright. Oh my. Cool design, though. Running into all kinds of neat looking enemies in here. Ooh, and I see some, uh... How do you get up there? Like, I suppose I could get up there if I could get... Uh oh, maybe I can... Maybe I can do this. Hang on. This may not work. Yep. Yes! I am so smart! Y'all are gonna get hit! Hey, wait, don't... stop it. No. Don't get away. Come on. Did I just get one? Seriously? Tragic. Hmm, guess the easiest way is to just do this. Kinda. Ah, I should have chased him in here. That would have been smarter. Um... That's probably all there is in this one little branch here. Alright, come on. There we go. Okay, we're free. Now, how do we get further down from here? Spare, huh? New. No. Probably make that jump. And that might be my only option. Sniper spot. Sniping who? Oh, there's a knight down there. Hang on, I'm gonna figure out how to change ammunition types, because that's bugging me. Oh, I see. Okay, I looked it up. <laughs> I feel a little bit silly for not figuring this out, but, uh, R1 shoots one kind of ammo, R2 shoots the other kind of ammo, which is actually really convenient. I like that. Uh, hey, get poisoned. Are you poisoned yet? Hey, hold still, alright? I'm trying to, trying to do a thing. He's not poisoned. Ah, well. Where was I going? I guess I gotta make that jump. Or, go this open way. <laughs> uh... Dan the Observant, they call me. Oh, boy. Well... Not exactly what I meant to do. Got him that time. Still one got away. I can live with that. And let's see if we can, uh, do this without totally screwing up this time. I guess there's no huge reason I have to jump there, is there? Seems like this is a safer alternative to go to about the same place? Maybe not exactly the same place. There may be an item or something that way. Uh, hmm, choosing a direction, that's rough. Hmm. Yeah, I should have. I should have gone up that way. Well, instead, let's try. Let's try jumping. See what happens. Not 
Not much, turns out. Uh, I think I can make that jump. Or, or, I can maybe make this jump. Risky. But, um... Eh. I bet I can make it, right? Maybe risky, but, uh... It would get me back over there to try the other side. Yep. Yes! Alright, now over here, what do we got? Item. Hexing urn. Alright. Ah, and the knight. You may remember me from such hits as those three poison arrows I hit you with. <laughs> How are you liking this huge shield I got? It's pretty cool, right? Now, I'll do that. I says, don't do it. All right, what else we got? Got this little area, which is where I first jumped. Um, not seeing anything else over here. Could probably jump down to some of these, but when you got stairs, well, when you, in theory, have stairs, Why do risky jumps? Am I hearing singing? I've probably been hearing singing for a while. It's just, again, recording volume low. What's this now? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's convenient. All right. Go ahead and light that puppy up. And resume our adventures! Oh, hello. So friendly coming to greet me. Oops. Should have blocked better. I should probably also be using, like, the... Giant's Ring or whichever one it is that breaks poise. Could probably really make a mess of these guys' day. Though I guess I'm doing that anyway, so I'll take it. So over here we've got some places we could jump down, and that might be where we're headed, but there was that long stairway. I'm a little surprised by how not populated this place is. Just a few remaining nights. <laughs> Jinx. All right. I bet I've missed so much in my descent through this place. Seems like this whole area has been picked clean. Like someone got here before me. Ooh, Drake blood stuff. What does that look like? Because if it looks anything like what these guys have been wearing, I am in. Oh, we got several pieces of armor here. Let's start with... What does Sanctum Knight armor look like? Oh, cool. It's quite cool, actually. Uh, do do do, Sanctum Knight. Oh, I don't have the boots. Sadness. Well, let's try out Drake Blood then. Oh yes, it is their stuff. Awesome. This looks rad. I love it. 
What does it say? Nope, that's not what I meant to hit. Oh, we have looked better, huh? Black Helm of the Drake Blood Knights, who came from a land long forgotten. The Drake Blood Knights, who worshipped the blood of dragons, were led by Sir Yorg in a siege of the Eternal Sanctum, but sunk into the Sanctum when the slumbering dragon awoke. The red cloth wrapped around their black armor represents the sacred blood of dragons. Interesting. Okay. Still haven't drawn any connections... ...necessarily, but... That's interesting. And I do love the look. So I guess I need to jump across, huh? Seems dangerous. Unless... Is there something else? Like another... Jump available to me? I guess I could do the jump from higher up. Maybe that's safer. It might be less safe, actually, but... does put me slightly above. Yeah, 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 this will work, I think. Oop. Yeah. And then we walk down. And then we drop. And then we drop again. And then... Could probably drop again, but I want to... I want to peek over here first. What all is there? Vine Balm? Ooh, more knights. Alright. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I kind of regret that I never made an effort to learn parrying in uh, Dark Souls 2. Another thing to uh, kind of pick up in a fresh playthrough, I think. Ow. Because the timing, I was told, is quite different and that it was a bit more challenging. I I'm sure some people find it easier. But, uh... Because I also wasn't relying on shields quite as much in early game. I didn't really pick up the skill. Can I sneak up? Nope. Sharp ears. Gotcha. What else is back here? And who are these knights still... ...hanging out? In this otherwise... ...really empty, abandoned, seemingly... ...ruined place. Keep thinking there's gonna be more illusory walls, but... ...not finding any. All right, let's see here. Let's make sure we actually jump. Cool. And then we drop. Drop. Look around. Play it safe. Drop again. Dragon's Rest. I'm definitely hearing singing now. Anything else down here? Doesn't seem so. I love the verticality of this place, even if it really just ends up meaning a whole lot of jumping puzzles. Uh, I don't know, it really makes it feel different from a lot of these other zones we've been in. Uh, six Estus flasks is not a lot. So this may go poorly. Hmm. I suppose I could use my feather head back, spin the souls, and then kind of rush down. Ah, whatever. I don't need to be so precious with the souls. Let's get in there. Whoa. 
That is beautiful. You are not deserving of the Maya. Oh, hello. Elana the Squalid Queen. Whoa, hey. Hey. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, what's going on with you? You've seen better days. All right, all right, all right. Bullet hell, I get it. What does that mean? What's happening? Oh, I see. All right. This suddenly became much more threatening. Well, at least they're not durable. All right. Skeletons, come on. Ow, that hurts. I have to be careful of that. Watch the fire. Oh, jeez. Be more cautious of the fire. Ow. I'm not doing super well here. I mean, I'm not dying, but I'm, uh... Not evading nearly so well as I should. I'm gonna hit you. Well, you hit a lot harder than I do. I should probably move. Alright, watch it. So far, so good. Keep an eye on the spells and the whatnot. Whoa, watch it. What are the items? Neat. Okay, cool. Ah, alright, watch it. Easy now. What are you doing? Oh. So what you're telling me is don't stand right next to you when you cast big spells like that. I see. Lesson learned. I'll take it to heart. Whoa. What are you doing? Ow. Fire. I see. Yeah, I'm gonna be wishing I had more Estus flasks, aren't I? Come on. No oh, jeez. Not good. Not good. Not good. Alright. Ow. Boy, those attacks do hurt. Whoa. Fire everywhere. All right, time to move, time to move, time to move. That's different. Probably a homing soul arrow type thing. Yep, pretty much. Yikes. This is different, what, what are you doing? Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's unexpected. Cool though, I mean, eh. This is, um, more challenging now, for sure. I definitely wish I had more, uh, Estus at this point. Yep, yeah, careful, careful. Ah, shouldn't be so reckless when I have no Estus left to rely on. All right. Ah, too early. All right, got him. Crap! She snuck up on me. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How does she like poison mist, I wonder? Catch! I don't think I did anything. Oh, it's fire. Oh, jeez. Didn't notice till it was too late. 
All right. Ow! I'm trying to rush her down. This may not work. No, no, fire! No! Oh! Almost, almost got her. That is a neat boss fight, and what an arena. Dang, all right, well, when we come back next time, I'm gonna give that another shot. This time with more Estus flasks, and maybe a different weapon. I don't know, we'll see. But thank you for watching, and uh, tune in next time for that again. Yeesh.